Party folks, this is the Tall Turtle here. Welcome back to the Tall Turtle Family Realm Minecraft 1.16. And yes, there's been a lot done in my little base area that has not been recorded. And that's because I've just been playing with the family and friends without recording. Um, because it's a very, very different way of playing when you're not recording. And it's been a lot of fun. We've had several evenings now with myself, my kids, their friends, and some parents all playing Minecraft together in Discord chat as well. It's been pretty chaotic playing with a bunch of 12 year old boys and their parents but it's been a lot of fun too and I admit it's been nice not recording on this realm but I'm going to give you an update and then we will be recording on the Eternia server. Don't worry I've just been distracted by a few things. We're actually going to do something with this and where do those come from? Huh. Anyway um, yes, we will be recording on the Eternia server. Don't worry about that. So, let's give a tour of the house. And then I'll give you a tour of my little base area. And then we'll... What is that? Oh, this is my way up. Okay. Um, where should we start? So here we go. Let's go inside first. And then we'll talk about the outside. Alright. Craft doors everywhere. So you walk in the front door. Honey, I'm home. And then you go to the dining room. So what the style is, by the way, is like an older house that's had some remodeling done in a modern way. And that's because in real life, I've lived in two houses like that. One from 1936. I had modern, like a super modern kitchen, totally out of place. But it was like a little cabin from 1936 with remodeling done. And um, that's awesome. And then the house I'm living in now, 1939. A little small house, then some remodeling done. Modern downstairs, not so modern upstairs. So that's kind of how I got the idea for this. So you walk in and use uses acacia because that was the only tree I could find when we first <laughs> decided to live in this area. There's nothing around here except for the trees I planted. So there is your little dining table for two and some storage cubbies. And then you walk into the kitchen and you've got a double oven, because that's modern, right? The house would have ended here. And then it's been expanded a little bit. You'll see from the outside. Sink, double oven. And I wanted... Whoops, where's my craft table upstairs? We'll make we'll make a um, refrigerator for here in a moment. Which means the counter might actually move over there. We'll do that together. Do I have anything in the oven? No buns in the oven. Here's the back door. We'll go out there in a moment. Here is the bathroom. Now this is where the addition was. So, as you'll see from outside, it got expanded by a couple blocks, so it doesn't line up with the kitchen. And that's on purpose. Kind of a shoddy remodel. But they made it fancy, so they got this like weird squatty potty type thing, if you know what that is, instead of an actual toilet with the flusher. Which opens your, <laughs> which opened your toilet. <laughs> and a sink, and a shower with no curtain, no molding, nothing. So when you take your shower, water gets everywhere. And that's on purpose. I've been in houses and hotels in real life where you take a shower in this fancy shower and it gets, it gets water everywhere. That's what this is supposed to be. And no curtains on the windows because only the cows can see you. Alrighty. And then you can see the sunset when you're taking a shower. Alright, and then the living room here with shade carpet, nice wraparound couch. You can see the sunrise. And the whole point of this house was I've lived in so many box houses that were just all open and boxy in my minecraft life that i decided i need a house with walls and rooms and that's where this came from this lighting is not permanent by the way i just don't have enough resources to change the lighting but we'll figure that out someday so you come upstairs and then the original upstairs was converted into a loft and it's a modern loft because see i can see downstairs and all glass and that's kind of moderny watch the sunrise there get a glimpse of the sunset there and they um, expanded it out a little bit. That's what it doesn't line up. And then here's my master bedroom with a patio. A walkout patio. So you keep an eye on the kiddos. We'll talk about this stuff later. And then like, check out the yard. Right? See what's going on. Taunt the monsters when they try to come. And then you can have lots of glass out here. And so on. Big loft area. Big waste of space. But all glass. Again, all intentional. Then you come over here, and this is where the house used to end. But then with the addition for the bathroom, it expanded the house up here too. So you have this wasted space up here. Again, totally on purpose. And glass to fill in the roofing, and then just empty up here. 
could be storage maybe or something if you want to put a ladder up and have storage but anyway i have a roommate um or housemate renting from me this is a whoa they broke <laughs> they broke the glass i'm gonna have to charge them for that they're gonna have to they're gonna have to pay for this damage <laughs> i have some glass with this filling in here so that's another thing we need to do today so um one of the dads of one of the kids said i need a place to live and they're like you're gonna live with the tall turtle so they live here and apparently they have their own kitchenette too in a loft area and they got their ice right there and damage so we'll fix the damage they don't get it he doesn't have a um pressure plate though for some reason so we got some stuff to do there so there's the house i love it so much different style for me and i'm very happy with it so there it is from the front from the outside this will be a flower garden eventually and then you can come in here and sit on what's going to be some benches and play your cigar box guitar i just haven't gotten that far yet and then you can see the glass from floor to floor my kitty cat that i got from a village see how it's open glass you can see both floors from here and then let's come around here quickly and it's all glass, but pretty much symmetrical, but again, like a fishbowl, right? You can see all the different floors, all the different rooms. We have a house by, where we used to live, that was like this. It was on a hill at the end of a park. So no matter where you were in the neighborhood, you see this enormous four-story house. In fact, a famous hockey player lived there for a while, I'm told. And you can see into every floor. It's so like you'd see the mom, well, in this case, yeah, the mom cooking, then the nanny with the kids, and then the husband in the office, all at the same time. Very interesting how they couldn't see each other but you could see everything all at once it was really interesting and that's what this kind of is what was that noise anyway so they come around to the back of the house and there well there are two horses um this is my roommate's horse my housemate's horse called little horse x <laughs> little horse is that an h or an a o or an a little horse x i don't know whose horse this is plop i don't know where that came from oh by the way i'm on when no one is on just so i can do a video well, where did this come from? What? Nice. I have a neighbor? Who is this? Hey. That house is better than mine. Who is this, that house? What? I know I haven't been on for a couple days. Well, I guess when you have seven people... It's a realm, so I know exactly who's on. I think we have seven people. I think. I don't know who that is, and dang, they were busy. Who's is this? I know everybody who's on, who has access, and I know their build styles, and this is nobody. I mean, not nobody. This is not a build style I recognize. This is very exciting that I have a neighbor right next to me. Oh, how exciting is that? So anyway, so then... um come around here and then you can see the shoddy add-on how it doesn't line up right then the roof had to also be added out because there's a bathroom and then it doesn't line up and everything that's all on purpose but the roof stayed this uh oh we're gonna get attacked okay we got some things to fix we got to put a fence in we got to put some glass in um okay we got some stuff to do well, let's see. Um, so yeah, I don't know where that horse came from. I don't know who built all this. They did a lot in like one day. Because it's only been like one day since I've been on. Crazy. I'm so happy. You just gotta fix some stuff. Um, otherwise, so that's the house. Now let's go over the yard. Actually, let me... Yeah, we'll get the materials from our storage building. So I'm doing things very different. Our storage is above ground. Our building is not a empty box inside. This will... Don't shoot me. This will be, I don't know, like garden-y type stuff up here. I don't plan on building up here. Over here is going to be a pig farm. The pond will stay. But this will be a pig farm and a chicken coop, like a tiny chicken coop up against the rails. My nine-year-old gave me the rail system, though. So we get from my house to his house, which is way over there. You can't see it. We can get there via rail because it's a long run. I added this gate with a detector rail, though, to keep the monsters out. Oops, don't let anybody in. Um, over here, I, something's gonna go back here, I just haven't decided what yet. Something will go back here. Here is my 
enchantment house that I'm still building. So we're actually going to finish this on camera super fast. As we're standing here, we need to raise up this and this. And I remember how he did it. Um, I think I did it like that. Right? Then he put stairs around it? Is that what I did? I did this so long ago. Whoops, dang it, now that's all gonna come down. Um, where's my dirt, folks? There we go. Dirt, raise that up. And then stairs go around it, I think. I think that's how I did this. Oh my goodness. It hasn't been that long since I played, but apparently long enough for an entire new base to show up next to my compound. Hey spider, I see you. What I'm very happy about, like I said. Do I only have one stair left? Ugh, we gotta go make stairs now. Alright, let's go make a bunch more stairs. And while we're at it, let's grab those other supplies too. Because this wasn't just going to be like, a, look what I've been building episode. It was going to be like, let's build something episode. So we'll just do it now. So we need some oak. Do I even have any oak? I gotta go get some oak from over there. That's why I had the tree planted. Now I remember. We also needed some glass. And we also needed one of those fences. Where did I put all those fences? There, I think we just need that. Okay. So let's see. Well, let's finish touring then while we have to run around anyway. So this is my enchanting building. Haven't done much with it yet. See, these lanterns are going to go up here. That's why... Um, that is why we're building this. Boom, there. And let's do this other one since we're right here. But you get the idea, right? And it's going to just look like that. See, with the stairs around it. And that should be way more than enough light. Oh, goodness, yes. And there should be a block away so it shouldn't affect the enchanting. And we're going to get a door. I was going to do a banner for a door. Just haven't gotten that far yet. Um, so this is my storage area. Giant unassuming storage facility. So again, shroom lights, by the way, I've been to the nether. Some ovens. We'll do a, probably won't do a blast furnace because I don't think I'll be doing ores in here. But we'll build this up as I get more wood. We'll build this all the way up to the ceiling, all the way around. Then the torches will be gone. Oh, and it's labeled just like this. Woods, all six woods. Gravel, all the stone types. Nether materials, I'm just going to group them together based on um, biome of each another. Bricks, terracotta. I keep thinking this is lava, but it's not. And then so on and so on. So everything can be put there. Um, this, then we just have some farms and storage for the farms. No big deal. And let's get that fence ready here. And then, you know, basic stuff. Pressure plates, so when I run in after getting scared, nothing can follow me in. This is where I'll just, this be like my purpose building area. So for example, you know, building, um, or planting some trees here, right? And then whatever else I need to do in this area. If I need to grow a certain crop in bulk, or I need to do trees in bulk, or animals in bulk or something, this will be my bulk area, at least for now. And then I'll build something here eventually. Um, I think my kid did these trees for me, actually, because I had to run and make dinner. So he's like, I'll be nice and make you trees. So that's what this is all about. Let's just finish this quickly. And then we'll move on. Oh, that's a nice big tree. Anything else up here? No. Okay. Let's get this taken care of. And there we go. Very simple. We'll come back and get the saplings and stuff. Assuming I got all the wood. Hmm. It's not decomposing, is it? Not gonna worry about it right now. Anyway, so now we can finish those stairs. Um, the mob counts on this realm are insanely high, by the way. Um, but they can't get in. They can shoot at us, but they can't get in. The spiders can, but I don't care. Um, an iron farm, I think. And then we need a bunch of raids because there's villagers in the kid's house over there. Um, this is just crop storage. And this stuff, you know, it's a realm. We don't have any plugins or grief protection or anything. So it's kind of community-based. Just, you know, it's community-based 
as it can be with a bunch of 12 year olds right so um, they do the best we do the best we can it's been working just fine we personally know everybody who plays um and i'm the only one in charge so that makes it nice having just one person in charge type thing um pumpkins we'll have melons over here eventually this will be something else when i'm done using it for bulk items so it's a small base but it's manageable oh and then we'll do our potatoes and beetroot will be over here too so we have crops melons don't shoot at me skeleton i'm running out of arrows chickens and pigs so we have plans we just have to implement them um let's take care of this super quickly there we go and what else oh yeah my underground rail system i'm gonna finish building um but this is a heck of a lot of fun that's an understatement really to say it's a lot of fun because we're playing with a whole bunch of people at once this is the only time i've ever been on here without like seven people on so it's super fun. So this is going to be my mine, all right? In fact, it's still going to be used for coal and iron. You know, the the branch, not strip mining, strip mining. We need to take everything off layer by layer. But the branch mine pattern that I normally do, you know, every fourth block and then every other one. We'll talk about that some other time for coal and iron. Then I went down here. I'm like, yay, I want to go get diamonds. But I got down here and the kids or other players have already gone through here and just gone through... Well, plus we're surrounded by, we we're trapped by two ravines. So, um, but they've gone through underneath me and just taken every single diamond out of this, my base area, which is fine. Because, I mean, they didn't know where they were and it doesn't matter. It's all community. So, under here has all been ransacked, ransacked with diamonds. So, this will be my iron and coal mine, because why not? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to, once again, enough iron... And I'm going to, um, over here probably, have another rail system that goes, I don't know, underground. I'm going to try to preserve the water, but it's going to go straight underground, and then I'll put water back on top of it. And then I'm going to have to go underground for a long time until we get into these hills. And then I'll start a new mine that's specifically for diamonds. So I'll have the mine cart track. Go straight downhill, all the way to diamond level, all the way out there, and then I'll have a diamond mine. Um, maybe I'll start it. See, I don't want to disrupt this natural water. Maybe I'll just do it over here. Maybe, because we'll have melons, and then maybe the mine cart, and then my potatoes and beetroot. Haven't decided. Or maybe go down and have my plants above it. I don't know. It'll, it'll be somewhere. And then, um... That will be to the diamond mine. So that's the plan for that. So the rest of the areas, I'm not going to talk too much about the rest of the areas right now. Um, I cannot wait to explore this, but I'll explore it with whomever the builder is. I'm just super impressed by this building that wasn't here a couple days ago. <laughs> I mean, this is wide open field, so this is super cool. I wonder who that is. I'm going to have to ask the kids who that is. Oh, somebody destroyed some of my pumpkins, but that's okay. Um, and where do they get melons? We don't have any jungles around here. Interesting. I have explored all the way south, several thousand, not all the way, but I've gone several, several thousand blocks south. Picked up a few wood types like dark oak and stuff. Always nothing exciting there. So then I'm going to go several thousand blocks north and then northwest and see if there's anything interesting out there. It'd be nice to get some spruce, which is funny. This is the first time I haven't seen spruce while I've played. And be nice to get some jungle wood. Um, but whenever, whenever I play, it's just super casual. I have a to-do list and I never follow it. I'm not recording, so it doesn't matter. I can just do whatever I want whenever. It's really kind of a free and liberating feeling, to be honest. And then I'm playing with a bunch of people all the time with chaotic Discord. Holy cow, it's chaotic playing with a bunch of 12-year-olds and parents. It's fun, but it does. I, I do have to take a couple days off here and there. <laughs> So anyway, I'm going to explore those areas someday. Um, I really want to know who built that because that's awesome. Looks like they're building another house too. What is going on here? This is amazing. What an awesome surprise. I love that there's people right next to me. Because on Survivor Craft and also on Eternia, you know, I'm by myself by like thousands of blocks of active players. So this is super cool. Um, that's just super awesome. 
All the way over here. And this is where the kids are building, or they started. They finally have a roof. They kept getting attacked by stuff. <laughs> Netherite blocks. Um, oh, that's whole second story. That's all new. This is all new. Diamond blocks. My goodness, these kids. So that's all new. This is some water thing they do where they staircase up, pour water down, and then they pour lava over it to get all those cobblestone. Why they do it? Um, because they're 12? At first it was really ugly because it was just this one and it was only up to about here. But now that they have multiple directions and layers that aren't connected, it actually looks kind of cool, doesn't it? This used to be a, um, mob farm that didn't work. So I don't know what they're doing over there. They do whatever they want, I do whatever they want. We all hang out together, it's super amazing. Let's quickly run this way. I didn't want to go too far from my own base, but I just want to show you where my nine-year-old is living off on his own. Um, but he has this awesome mine cart between our houses. I think it's so adorable. Gotta watch out, they've got mine holes everywhere. <laughs> um, oh gosh, he's really far away. There's not even, yeah, just with all the beacons, not even rendering in. It's so far away. Let's just go over here super fast and not break anything. Um, did he get rid of his house? Oh no, it's his father than I remember. Yeah, yeah, it's way over here. He has all this stuff going on. Super cool. Um, my speed isn't speeding up. There it is. Hold on. Hold on. Got the right beacons. Oh my gosh. This is a cool natural area. But I already started my base. So, and then we have this amazing Shatter Zavana over here. Absolutely incredibly gorgeous Shatter Zavana. But anyway, I'll be giving more tours of the region and their bases. Hey, kitty cat, do you have a name? Nope. In the future, I just wanted to show you what my base has been up to. Well, basically what I've been up to on this realm. Because I don't, I'm not going to record on this realm. Oh, we have to finish, fix a few things, don't we? Um, I'm not going to record on this realm. I'll just give update videos every now and then. Just because it's a very different style of play when you're not recording. What happened? Wait, what? What happened here? The wall was broken. The rail to my kid's house is broken. In several places. I mean, I know why. It's because these kids run around with water buckets jumping and placing water and water will take up things like track and stuff I know. um that's all i had to say about my base and stuff looks like we have to repair some rails out there let's repair the glass in here we already repaired the wall it's really i'm still just taken back that i take a day or two off and there's a whole nother part of the compound over there that's super awesome i'm very very happy with that very exciting to see uh, let's go all right let's fix the glass that our tenant busted up here and um, I'm going to have to put some wood uh, or dirt on your floor, buddy. Sorry about that. Just can't get there from here. There we go. Fix that. Um, whoops. Let's see. Where those up here too, right? How am I going to get up there to fix that? Wait. I thought it was broken up here. Oh, it was down there that it was broken. I'm already up high. Okay. Um, otherwise, anything else I need to say? I don't think so. I think I'll be beating the dead horse if I talk too much. I think you got the general idea. Um, but I will be recording on Eternia soon. Um, I need more than one crafting table in this house. Um, I want to do that. Oh, I hate making so many. I don't need that many, but whatever. We want to, no, do that. There we go. Two of those. And I'll show you what we're going to do here. I totally forgot what I was saying. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to move my table over because what's going to happen is I'm going to put this here. See? And um, it's not going to go... It's going to get in the way. See? That's not going to work. So what we need to do is... Move this over. Put the refrigerator door on. How come that's not working? Oh, whoops, I know why. Hang on. I know why. You need to put it here and close it, right? And then, wait, you need pressure plate. How come I can't remember how to do this? Seriously. I've done this so many times. <sighs> I want 
wouldn't that be refrigerator door? I don't want to make iron trap doors. I don't know what I'm going to do about a door. What do I usually use? I'm going to have to go back to my survivor craft videos <laughs> and see what I did for the refrigerators there because I had that like commercial kitchen. Why can't I just place... So there's the block. So it's the door is either going to go there or there and then the trap door will close it onto it but then you have it. It won't say that unless you do like a hidden lever. I guess I can do a hidden lever under the ground and do that to close the door onto the refrigerator. Although I kind of like... Oh, wait. We'll just make it a fancy bridge with pull-out buttons. There. Fancy bridge. Where you have to pull out... I don't know. This looks stupid. Whatever. <laughs> I told you it's going to be modern. Modern isn't always practical. Modern is definitely fashion over function. But there we go. We have... A refrigerator that looks like a file cabinet. That's what we have. All right, I think we did everything we wanted to do, right? I think in this episode, nope, we gotta fit, finish our stairs above our, um, what you might call it, the um, enchanting thing. I think I need more than four, so let's make eight. Let's come down here and finish this quickly together. And I know this is kind of like a rambling, disjointed video, but that's because it's just showing you what I've done and trying to do a few building things together. I think we need more than that, don't we? Um, I just wanted to give you an idea. Like I said, it's way different to play when you're not worried about recording stuff. So it's been nice. I miss recording for everybody, though. I miss playing on Eternia. It's just this server's been... So it's like this big sudden deal with so many, everybody playing with COVID, you know, we're not seeing anybody. We had our pods, but now we're not even doing that, that much. So this is how we see everybody, both adults and kids. So that's why I've been playing on this so much. So sorry, Eternia fans, I will be playing again very soon there and recording. But I just wanted to show you what I've been up to here. And um, that's going to do it for us. I love being protected in my base at night. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.